Hi, here we are, H3 Languages, and this is a Year 7 Spanish video. And in this video, we're going to learn how to say what there is in your town, how to say what there isn't in your town, how to say whether you like living in your town, and to be able to give a reason for your opinion. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. This is the castle, so this is El Castillo. El Castillo, the castle. This is the market. El Mercado. El Mercado. The market. This is the stadium. This is El Estadio. El Estadio. The stadium. This is your shopping center. This is El Centro Comercial. El Centro Comercial. The shopping complex or the shopping center. This is a leisure center, so this is El Polideportivo. El Polideportivo, the sports center or leisure center. This is the swimming pool, so this is La Piscina. La Piscina, the swimming pool. This is the university, so this is La Universidad. La Universidad, the university. This is some museums. This is slightly different. This is unos museos. Some museums. Unos museos. These are squares, town squares. So these are unas plazas. So they are some town squares. Unas plazas. So some squares. These are parks. There are muchos parques. Lots of parks. Muchos parques. These are muchos restaurantes. So we have lots of restaurants. Muchos restaurantes. And these are shops. So these are muchas tiendas. Muchas tiendas. Okay, if you want to say there is or there are something, you need the word I. I know that's a strange pronunciation for us, looking at H-A-Y, but that's I. There is or there are. If you want to say there isn't something, you just need to put a little no in front of it. No I. No I. There isn't. So, how do you think you might say there is a castle? If you want to have a think about it, pause me. There is a castle. Hay un castillo. Hay un castillo. Okay, what about these then? How would you say there is a stadium? For every one of these, if you need anything in time, just pause me before you listen to the answer. There is a stadium. Hay un estadio. There is a sports centre. Hay un polideportivo. There is a swimming pool. Hay una piscina. There is a market. Hay un mercado. Okay, so there are some museums. How did we say that? Can you remember the word that we used for some? Hopefully you've remembered that it is hay unos museos. Unos museos. What about there are some castles then? How would you say that? Hay unos castillos. Good. Because we're masculine, so we're unos, and we need a plural end, and we need that S, hay unos castillos. What about there are some stadia, which is our plural for the word stadium? Hay unos estadios. Hay unos estadios. Okay, there are lots of parks. How did we say that? Hay muchos parques. What about there are lots of shops? Hay muchas tiendas. Hopefully you remembered that parques are masculine, so they are muchos parques, but shops are feminine, so they are muchas tiendas. There are lots of swimming pools. How would you say that? Hay muchas piscinas. So that tells us that this is feminine as well. Muchas piscinas. What about if you were saying there are not 
a lot of markets and you remember how to make it negative. No hay muchos mercados. There it is. No hay muchos mercados. And we know that mercado is masculine, so we've got muchos mercados. Okay, um, have a look at the text below. We've got Aleana telling us a little bit about where she lives and whether she likes living there. Uh, you've got the name, the town, what there is, what there isn't. She will give an opinion and she will say why that is her opinion. All you need to do is copy out that table and write in the details. So there's your first detail, Aleana. Pause the video now so that you can go through your answers, copy that down, and when you're ready to check them, start me playing again and I'll tell you the answers. Okay, so let's find out a little bit about Aleana, shall we? So she starts off by saying, soy Aleana. Soy just means I am, so we know that's her name. She says, vivo en Puerto Real. So vivo en, I live in, Puerto Real. So the town she lives in is Puerto Real. Okay, it's in el sur de España, so we know it's in the south of Spain. But she says, pero soy de México, so we know that she's from actually Mexico. Okay, en mi barrio hay, so this is what there is, because remember that I means there is. Okay, we've got una playa, and that's a beach. That's a bit of extra vocab, I think that one, isn't it? There is a beach. There is una piscina y muchos parques. So what is there? There is a beach swimming pool, lots of parks. Okay, there isn't. Well, here we are. No hay. So what isn't there? No hay ni castillo ni estadio. So there is neither, that's a nice thing to use, neither a castle nor a stadium. So that's your answer there, castle and stadium. Okay, what's her opinion? She says, me gusta, me gusta vivir. Well, we know me gusta is I like. In this case, I like to live. Me gusta vivir aquí, so I like living here. ¿Por qué? Why? Puerto Real está en la costa. So we know that it's on the coast, en la costa. Y por qué pienso que es una, una ciudad bonita. So she thinks, pienso, I think, que es una ciudad bonita, that it's a pretty town. So her opinion is that she likes living there. Why? It's on the coast and it's a pretty town. If you want to give yourself a little point, you can go one for Puerto Real, one for beach, swimming pool, lots of parks, castle, stadium. She likes living there. It's on the coast. It's a pretty town. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you'd like to give yourself a score out of nine for that one, that'd be great. Okay, here we go. This is our second one, so pause me while you have a go, and as soon as you're ready to go through the answers, press play again. Okay, he says, Hola, soy Manuel. I am Manuel. Vivo en San Sebastián. So, I live in San Sebastián, so we have Manuel, there he is, and the town that he lives in is called San Sebastián. En el norte de España, so we know that actually he lives in the north of Spain. En mi ciudad hay mucho. Okay, so there's a lot. There's mucho en mi ciudad, in my town. Hay una playa preciosa. Hopefully you've remembered from Aliana that a playa was a beach. So there's a beautiful beach, un estadio y un cine. So that's what there is. A beautiful beach, a stadium and a cinema. He says, me gusta vivir aquí. So again, I like, me gusta. Me gusta vivir aquí. I like to live here. Porque hay de todo. Right, because hay de todo is a nice new bit of vocab. It means there is everything. So actually, there's nothing to go in that box because he's not telling you that anything is missing. In fact, he goes out of his way to say, there's everything in my town. What doesn't he like then? Look, pero no me gustan. Right, there's something that he doesn't like. No me gustan los turistas en julio y agosto. So he doesn't like... Nice cognate here, the tourists in July and August. Why? Porque es ruidoso. Hopefully you remembered that ruidoso is noisy. Y hay demasiado gente. And gente are people. And if there are demasiado, there are too many. So he finds it noisy and there's too many people in July and August because of all the tourists. Me gusta más, so I like it more. Durante el otoño y la primavera. 
So during autumn and spring. So the things that you're going to get points for are his opinion. Well, actually, he says two points there, doesn't he? Because he says, I like living here, but don't like it when there's lots of lots of tourists in July and August. And the reason is that he likes living there because it's got everything. So those two fit together. And he doesn't like the tourists in July and August. Why? Because it's noisy and there are too many people. So if you want to give yourself a point, you've got Manuel, San Sebastian, beautiful beach, stadium, cinema. Likes living there. It's got everything. Doesn't like the tourists because it's noisy and there are too many people. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. Okay, so you can give yourself a score out of nine. Okay, now I'm going to recommend that you do a little bit of writing on your own based on what you've seen in this video. Remember to write something for every one of these following bullet points. Can you write down what there is in your town? Can you write down what there isn't in your town? Say whether you do or don't like your town and give your reasons. So say why or why not. Aim to write at least two sentences for each bullet point. Good luck.